All right, Catboy, got him up here. We don't have All a lot right. of time. We've Woo. only got a few more. We're trying to get in. We got we got one okay. more after you, Catboy, if we can get in. If we can't, then Roger can't get in. Magnus, you've got to come next week. We just had so much going on this week. Whoa. All right. All right, now, before we get started, I just wanted to say I rented the U-Haul truck. Uh, we'll be able to pick up the explosives by Wednesday, and we'll have the Federal Reserve blown up by the end of the week. Are we good? Yeah. Are we good? All right. All right, we're ready to go. Now, with that said, everyone heard uh, the news wait, this Catboy. week. There are five guys in black outside from the NSA. They heard you say that. They're coming in to get you now. Oh, no. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, we've been joking about it for weeks, but CNN confirmed this morning and last night that NSA has been sending spies specifically to Second Life. You know what? I don't mind the NSA having spies here as long as the bastards laugh at my jokes and applaud. All right? <laughs> I warn you, if you don't think my jokes are funny, That's I got nothing do better to do. Water. Yeah, I got nothing better to do than build pipe bombs if you don't keep a straight face on this one. They said on the news that the NSA is worried that terrorists can use the Sims in Second Life to plot out and train for terrorist attacks. I don't know what kind of terrorist attacks you guys are expecting, but if Gore ever declares a jihad in real life, I want to see that. <laughs> Chicks in metal bikinis dressed up as slaves. Yeah, I want to be, be there. Interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> By the way, in my opinion, I don't think the NSA is going to find Dick. Unless, of course, that Dick is a giant scripted mesh attachment. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Just for fun, we should start plotting protests and marches just to make them nervous, like right here, eh? Just to, just to screw with their heads. Anyway, in the news, uh, money... Oh, it turns out a lot of people discovered... Did you hear about uh, the money that was raised by Comic Relief? They found out that some of that money was used to buy guns. And the Comic Relief said, yes, it was the only way to keep Daniel Tosh from stealing all of their jokes. <laughs> oh, boo. Oh, boo. Okay. Uh, Warner Brothers Studios announced that former supermodel Gal Gadot, she's that lady from the Fast and Furious series. I'll bring down a photo of her. This woman is the next person to play Wonder Woman in the upcoming Justice League movies that are coming out under Warner Brothers Studios. She's really pretty. Uh, She's pretty, yeah. but I don't know. That doesn't scream Amazon princess to me. She kind of looks like an emaciated, uh, I don't know, survivor uh, from a war zone or something. But maybe to a cat say... boy, but to the rest of us, it screams. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is my problem. <laughs> okay. All well, right. in answer to this, since they're going to start using supermodels as superheroes, Marvel, uh, who's owned by Disney Studios, they have announced that Mark Ruffalo is still going to be playing... Uh, Bruce uh, Bruce Banner in the next Avengers movie, but Andre Pelek is going to be starring as the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? Yeah. Slightly different tale where when a man becomes angry, he turns into a highly effeminate waif. Sounds like the life story of RuPaul <laughs> on Drag Race. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. oh, did anyone hear today that scientists pouring over data from Antarctica have discovered the lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth? Minus yes. 90 degrees. 90! Wow. 90 yeah, degrees! Minus 135. Oh, no, that's in Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a oh. 90, that would be minus in Celsius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, well, it eventually it hits 90 for both. First the one, then the other. But uh, apparently with this uh, discovery was recorded by a satellite back in 2010. The reason why it took three years to uh, uncover the data was that's how long it took for it to thaw out. <laughs> <laughs> Want to revisit what, uh, what Doc was talking about earlier? A man flying from Lafayette, Houston. You remember he fell asleep and uh, he fell asleep in the plane, woke up with it all locked up. Couldn't leave the plane, had to phone his girlfriend for help, for someone to come get him out. Express Jet, as just recently, just before we got on tonight, they apologized for the incident, and they offered man a flying voucher. But he said, no thanks, he'd rather sleep in a hotel. Mm. <laughs> okay. In Atlanta, did anyone hear this true story? Atlanta, a woman was arrested, a woman who was working in a McDonald's was arrested because she hid a marijuana blunt in someone's burger. Served it to him in the takeout. 
I heard plenty of rumors that this is how people are selling marijuana, hidden in takeout orders, but you're not supposed to smoke it first. You know? <laughs> I get a little of this. In Nashville, in another McDonald's drive through a couple, instead of their order, they were given a huge bag of cash. That was the nightly deposits as their takeout. You know, those people who work in the drive through need to stop toking up. Okay. Lauren was talking about the, um, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Starbucks cards that were on sale. They're on sale for like $400, $500. Get a little of this. I found out today that they were on sale for $1,200. These cards were going on sale for $1,200 on eBay. People were bidding that high enough. And the card only has, it only holds $400. It doesn't go higher than that. That's only enough money to buy one double espresso mocha. <laughs> And the last thing I wanted to say was, unfortunately, the reality show on MTV, uh, a Team Mom was canceled. So I guess MTV knows when to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> and so do I. That's all I have for tonight. <laughs> oh, hey, bravo, bravo.